I think the main thing that the rig workers are working, thinking about when they're getting up is making money so the less they hurt themselves, the more money they're going to make. The faster project go, the smoother it'll go. Communication and safety with the, with the safety aspect is extremely important. With these roads, sometimes you can't see around the corners, so if someone's coming up and you don't see them, there could be a collision, so the guys will call out where they're going, where they are, if they're at the T down at the intersection here, if they're coming into a lease, if they're leaving a lease, empty going out or empty coming in to the lease and loaded coming out so the guys know where everyone is. OSUM is, uh, they're very well organized and they have a great crew. There's not many people here that don't know what's going on. Everyone knows where everyone is and they're just, they're a great crew to work with. Very, very well educated. They know what they're doing. So everyone's pretty safe with the safety standards nowadays. I mean, nobody can be overtired. There's no alcohol, no drugs. So everybody's very aware of what's going on. Uh, if there is an incident, they will call us on either our cell phones, our bag phones, or our radios. Usually the safety is notice, notice, or no, notified first, so it will be Alex or Kevin, and then we'll head down to whatever location it is as safely as possible. Like, go fast, get there, but don't speed and don't race around corners. Once we get there, assess what's going on, where they are, if it's safe for us to approach them. After that, you just take it by incident, depends on what it is, if it's a broken leg, whether it's a broken arm. Someone needs a band-aid. It all depends on situations. The major thing in the back of everyone's mind is everyone wants to get home safe. Everyone wants to go home with all their fingers, their toes, arms, legs, nothing broken. They want to go home alive to their families. <laughs>